We'll be doing example 3.2, which is a calculation for an alternating current waveform. Just to give you some background, uh, if we take a coil and we rotate it 360 degrees, we produce a sinusoidal waveform. At 90 degrees, we produce maximum EMF. Instantaneous value is the smaller values taken over half a cycle. We produce maximum EMF in the positive half cycle and the negative half cycle. No EMF is induced at 180 degrees, 360 degrees, and 0 degrees. Right, so in this uh, calculation, for example 3.2, we have an equation for an alternating current waveform. I is the instantaneous value, it is equal to 35 sine. 942,478 times time, and the units is amperes. Now, before we answer all the questions, let's just take a look at the equation that we'll be using. Small letter i is the instantaneous value in amperes. Im is the maximum value in amperes. F is the frequency in hertz. Time is the time in seconds. And then we have the angular velocity in radians per second. Now, to convert radians per second to degrees, we multiply by 57,3. So, using our equation, we need to calculate the frequency of the current. Uh, to do that, the angular velocity in radians per second is equal to 2 times pi times frequency. Therefore, to calculate uh, the frequency, It'll be the angular velocity divided by 2 and pi. The angular velocity in radians per second is 942,478 divided by 2 and pi. And we end up with 150 hertz. If you want to define frequency, it is defined as the number of cycles completed in one second. Now to calculate the uh, time period, the formula for that is 1 over frequency. So it's going to be 1 over 150 hertz. And that will give us 6,667 milliseconds. Just round it off and simplify it to milliseconds. In part C, to calculate the instantaneous value of the current, 0.75 milliseconds after the beginning of the cycle. So here's your uh, waveform. If you want, you can use uh, time as your reference. Okay, so they say around about uh, 0.75 uh, milliseconds. Now to convert milliseconds to seconds, you can multiply by 10 to the power of minus 3 in order to convert it to seconds. Or I prefer to write it as a fraction. 0.75 divided by 1,000. Uh, seconds. Okay, so let's take a look at this equation. Right, so to calculate the instantaneous value, I is equal to IM, maximum value, sine. Inside the brackets, we have 2 pi FT multiplied by 57,3 to convert radians to degrees. The maximum value is 35 sine. Uh, we can substitute the radians here, which is 942,478. Now, for time, I'm going to say 0,75 over 1,000. I'm going to write it as a fraction. And to convert radians to degrees, we multiply by 57,3. So the instantaneous value, around right about 0,75 milliseconds, will be 22,730 to amps. Right, just a reminder, here's your maximum value, IM, and that is 35, okay, that's 35 amps, so our instantaneous value will be somewhere over here, and that will give us our instantaneous value. Right, next question, number D, the time it takes for the current to reach its maximum value. Now, the maximum value is uh, 35 amps. Okay, let me just write the equation here. I equals IM sine 2 pi FT times 57,3. Now, when you substitute here, you'll notice that the instantaneous value is the same as the maximum value. So we will substitute 35 over there, sine. 
I'm going to write down the radiance over here, 942,478 times time. That's the unknown variable. Multiply by 57,3. Right, so we've got lots of uh, calculations we're doing here. Here's a multiplication sign. So we're going to say 35 divided by 35. Then to bring the uh, sign across, it'll become sine to the minus 1. And then we can open up the bracket, 942,478 times time times 57,3. Right, so therefore, time is going to be equal to sine to the minus 1, uh, 35 over 35, which essentially gives you 1, divided by 942,478 and 57,3. So therefore, the time measured in milliseconds for number D will give us uh, 1, 66, 1, 667 milliseconds. All right, next question. Uh, calculate the time it takes for the current to reach 12,5 amps for the first time after passing zero. Okay, just a reminder of our sine wave. Okay, maximum value is uh, 35 amps, and they want to know how much time it will take to reach 12,5 amps. All right, so we take a line over there. Right, so to calculate the time, let me just write the equation. The instantaneous value is equal to the maximum value, sine. Inside of the brackets, we have 942,478 times time multiply by 57,3 to convert radians to degrees. Okay, so therefore, to reach 12,5 uh, amps, if the maximum value is 35, sine 942,478 times time times 57,3. Right, so we're basically following the same step here. Uh, just to save one or two steps, okay, we're essentially going to say sine to the minus 1, 12,5 divided by 35 equals 942,478 times time times 57,3 to convert radians to degrees. So therefore, the time will be equal to sine minus 1. 12,5 over 35. We're obviously going to have to use your calculator here. 942,478 times 57,3. All right, so therefore, um, to reach 12,5 amps, the time taken will be, uh, and I'm going to simplify this because there's lots of uh, smaller decimal values here. We end up with 387,300. 5 microseconds. Alright, I'm going to stop there. Thanks guys for watching this video.